everybody, today we are going to be doing a bath bomb video. So, first things first, we are going to be a, <laughs> we're going to open up the bath bomb. Super simple. Um, so cool. I'm gonna open up a bath bomb. I'm so cool. So satisfying watching the dust go everywhere. Uh, Alright. Three. Second step. Make sure the bath bomb is smooth. <laughs> Third step. Dip the bath bomb in a little bit. Look at that nice color. I know. Mm. Time to put it in. That's, that's, that's real. <laughs> oh my God, that's so loud. If you guys can feel this, this feels nice. Cause you, can, if you put your hand on top, on the top, it you can literally feel it fizzing. Well, since it is a a mermaid bath bomb, we are go. I since I'm not just gonna sit here and watch it fizz. We can't. I'm gonna teach you guys also how to draw a mermaid. So. Get your paper. Oh my god, that feels so nice. Just gotta get that extra off. It's so glittery. It's like glittery and glittery and glittery and glittery and glittery and glittery and glittery. I could go on for days. Alright, so first things first. What you're gonna do is you're gonna draw the head of the mermaid. No, actually you can start out with the tail. So what you'll do is you'll draw down and you'll draw up and down and then back up. So it should look ugh, like that. Next step is you got to bring it. You bring it up and you let it go out to make the body. Then after then you draw a line at the top to do, finish that off. Next, what you do is a bye bye. So now you draw a line up, another line up, and a C, a backward C. There we go. Next, what you're gonna do is you're going, oh wow, up, down, and up, up, and back down. So, we're gonna do that again, make it like sunglasses. There's the shell bra. <laughs> Next, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna add in the three lines like that. Yeah. Next, you're gonna give your character some arms make it come alive be alive if it doesn't it can't be alive if it doesn't have arms like literally now I know everybody doesn't draw a neck on their mermaids but still it is a terrible drawing but okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw her hair unless you want it to be a merman So that might be a separate video. My mermaid looks terrible. Restart. So, first things first, we're gonna actually draw the face. So we're gonna draw the face and then the hair. All right, so that's how it should look actually. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up and down, up and down. And then you're gonna add a little smile. See, you got a little girl. Look how glittery it is. Look at that. All right, here we go. Can you 
keep on going. Don't get sidetracked. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to draw the face. So now we're gonna draw the face, and that might cut, 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 cut it off. Cut all the eye, but who cares? And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw out and in and out and in and back out and back out and back in. So now you're gonna draw her arms, and then you're gonna draw her other arm. Which could just be another line, but I'm going not simple, because I am not simple at all. <laughs> um, so, now, you're going to have that. But, you don't want that, actually. <laughs> you don't want that. You want it to be like that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to... Make her thing. You made bobber. A the bobber. Right there. Now you're gonna go up and around to make her tail like that. And now, mm -hmm. so you're gonna go like that, and that's how she should look. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up and down, up. And down. And add some lines. Now if you want to get extra fancy, you can you can draw W's in her pants into her thing God. Things it to make her gills. Gills, I don't know what they're called really. I'm on the scales. Oh my goodness. Scales! Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you, Miss Mrs. Mystery Voice in the background. Mystery voice in the background. So now, see all those little W's? That took forever. Now there we go. Much better. Now complete. So what you need to do now is you can grab your colored pencils and um or anything you want to color with and then you can color it in. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm going to color it in. I'm using a teal color, which is for extra fanciness. It's called aquar aquarium on. Aquarium, probably. I'm only in the small grade. I don't really know. I've only been doing schools for school for six years. <laughs> so, yeah. So, my mermaid does not does not look its best today, but it's a mermaid. So I did that, and I colored the tail a little lighter. So what you're gonna do now is I'm gonna you can make the tail any color you want. Really, I'm just looking. I'm grabbing my color pencil that I want. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab another color pencil that's same color but lighter. And you're going to go over that. Bye, Chloe. Now, you're going to do the hair. So if you want to, you can do the hair a normal color or any imagination color. She's going to have pink hair. So now you're going to color in her hair. But don't go in her face, because she does not like her hair in her face. Because if you put her hair in her face, she will be very aggravated. So, you're not going to put her hair in her face, and you're going to nicely color it like I did. So, you want to keep turning the page like that. See? Now she has some pink hair. This white spot bothers me. Alright, now that you have her hair colored in, you're going to get your peach... You're going to get your peach color for the skin. And you have to use peach unless you want her to be a very, very, um, a very weird mermaid. Like, a very weird. I can't even explain how weird, but still just very weird. <laughs>